Hey guys, this is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. I'm, I'm coming back with another little message. Uh, this one is uh, for recruiting. Uh, we're looking to bring people on our company. Yes, we're still hiring. <laughs> we're still looking for people. I don't know when that's going to stop. And, and isn't that unusual? I mean, where can you go where there's companies saying that we're looking to hire people? Uh, but but we are, and this is definitely a special opportunity. It's not for everyone. I mean, we'll tell you that right now. Uh, there's no arm twisting, no bone crushing. Ooh, I hate crushing bones. Oh, but uh, what what we do is, if you're a people person, if you're willing to learn, you're willing to listen, and you're willing to study on your own. And you'd like to be able to, to make some additional money, either starting out by doing this part-time because you do have a full-time job. We understand. That's fine. Uh, you know, you can put as much time into this or as little time into this. It's up to you. You know, how successful, how quickly do you want to be? It's, it's entirely up to you. What types of jobs do you have where you get to decide so many different factors? I mean, normally the situation is you walk in and the job tells you, this is this is our policy here. This is how we handle this. This is what we do here. This is how we feel about this. Whoa, okay, take it easy here. I guess I have to do a lot of adapting, don't I? Well, you don't here. In this case, you can still be your own person. As long as you have a good worth ethic, work ethic, and you, you are looking to succeed, you will. I... Uh, if you come under me, I will train you. I'll personally train you. And we're not going to be lifting any weights. Uh, but that could be something you can do on the side. There's nothing wrong with doing a little uh, weightlifting, some anaerobic exercising. But what we are going to be doing is a lot of aerobic exercising to the mind. We're going to get that mind really moving there. And the, the whole idea is if you do, you will be successful. And the whole point of this is we want to try to create a better environment for our financial stability. Um, so often nowadays, companies are doing what? They, they're shrinking their workforce. They've been doing this for years now. They, they, they found how effective it is. We'll let one or two people go, and in that department, the, the rest of the folks will have to just pull together and work harder to pick up the slack for that other person. That whole uh, mentality stinks. Unfortunately, they got you. You know, either you, you, you accept it or you leave. And where are you going to go? And they know that. So, you know, this, this is where you can start the beginning of having some independence, having some say in the future direction of your life. Um, if you think that this might be something for you, this is to become a public adjuster. We can go into a lot more details about it. But as I say, it just gives you so many different avenues and it, it lets you have more control of your own life. And it is very rewarding. I mean, at the end of this thing, um, when you've helped somebody because the insurance company has totally run a uh, gunshot over them and, and denied a claim or perhaps um, they've given them cents on a dollar and we can come in there and get them real money a check comes to them four months later or you know weeks later I'm saying four months in a situation where this would be what's called a reopen I talk about that in other areas I'm not going to go into that now but the whole point is this allows you to help people and you know what you're helping yourself what's wrong with that every it's a win-win situation uh, the only people that tend to lose out a little bit and it doesn't really affect them that's the insurance company they're so big that you know this doesn't make a dent in them but it makes a difference in your life and the homeowner's life that you've been able to help so this is Steve Walbach your friendly public adjuster if you think this might be interesting to you and you'd like to learn more about it then give me a call contact me my phone number is 610-213-8820 or you can reach me via email to establish a, a dialogue. And that would be Steve Walbach, W-O-L-B-A-C-H, at 
Ymail, that's the letter Y, mail.com. Um, I have licenses in PA, New Jersey, and Maryland. And as I say, this is something that we're going to train you. We're, we're going to show you. It's hand by hands. It's all hands on. It's amazing. I mean, there will be some textbook that if you don't have your license, that we, we need to get you to get your license and we will help you. Uh, we actually have a class that helps you to take the test. I mean, the, the only thing we don't do is go there and do it for you. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good deal. I don't know about you, but uh, anyway, I've gone through it. You know, what I'm saying is, is what it is. This is real life here. And uh, if you're not happy with your situation, you got to make some changes. Staying home and bitching about it on the weekend isn't going to help. It's not going to change anything. Am I allowed to say bitching? I'll, I'm, I'll check with my mom on that. Forgot I forget I said that, all right? I apologize. Anyway, the bottom line is you have control, although you don't feel it, but you really do. You do have control over your future, and it will take some time to change it, but you got to take the first steps. This may be the first step. It may not. It's As I say, it's not for everybody. But if it is right up your alley, you'd be foolish if you don't pursue it. Again, Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. I hope uh, you've learned something here. If you did, I would ask you to please like my page. And of course, if you're going to like it, share it. Come on. Everybody likes to share. And everybody likes to receive something. So here's a way you get to pass on some good information to someone else. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would ask you to please subscribe to my page. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.